Hey, so I found my lip gloss, and I'm going to see the urologist right now. But last time I went to see him, he called me he on the other side of the room. So when I was around the corner in his office, I heard him talking about my next appointment. He called me he. So today I'm going to tell him before we leave his office that last time he did that, and that's not right, the right term. So... It's something I'm going to start practice doing. And last night at my school in the lab, the teacher's assistant um, uh, saw me opening a soda. And he said, excuse me, ma'am. No, no, no. And he said, oh, the soda? And he said, oh, I'm sorry. Um, I said, why? He said, because I'm sorry, I'm really tired, but I'm having trouble distinguishing if you're a guy or a girl. And I said, I'm transgender. And then I said, I'm sorry. And then I said, no, I'm not, I'm not sorry. I said, it's okay. <laughs> and then I was thinking about that, and I was like, I should have just said, you had it right the first time, because I feel so, like, like, guilty or something, but I really, I don't at all, and I just feel like I'm not used to just people treating me differently, and I thought it was interesting because he said, I'm sorry, I'm really tired and stuff, and it's just the hair that's throwing me off, and I just thought, you know, people haven't really been mean to me, calling me freak or anything like that in a really long time, and I thought it might be, it was so, it's just really amazing that hair makes such a big difference, so, um, when he did that, it reminded me of the Pirates of the Caribbean movie <clears throat> when he tells the girl that she's in a ghost story because um, it's like people can't believe, like, they're like, I can't tell, I don't know. It's like, what, what oh my god. <laughs> so, I think that's everything. I gotta go to the doctor.